What's the most inaccurate thing your child has ever taught in school? My son Jake came home from fourth grade absolutely buzzing with excitement about his social studies lesson. Mom, did you know the Great Wall of China is so massive that it's the only thing humans built that you can see from outer space? Mrs. Henderson showed us pictures. I paused while stirring dinner. As someone who spent eight years working at NASA's Johnson Space Center before becoming a science writer, this particular fun fact makes my eye twitch every time I hear it. Actually, buddy, that's not quite right, I said gently. Jake's face fell. But Mrs. Henderson said astronauts told us that. She showed us a PowerPoint and everything. I pulled up some photos on my laptop, real images taken from the International Space Station. Look at these pictures from space. Can you spot the Great Wall? He squinted at the screen. Um, no? That's because you can't see it with the naked eye from space. It's only about 20 feet wide in most places. From space, that's basically invisible. But what about all those pictures online? Those are taken with powerful zoom lenses. Or they're pictures of other structures that people mistakenly think are the Great Wall. Jake looked genuinely confused. So Mrs. Henderson was wrong? I showed him actual photos from astronauts debunking this myth. Chris Hadfield, who spent months on the ISS, has repeatedly said the Great Wall isn't visible without assistance. Can I bring this to school tomorrow? Jake asked, pointing at the laptop. The next morning, I got a call during my lunch break. It was Mrs. Henderson, and she did not sound happy. Mrs. Rodriguez, Jake disrupted our entire social studies lesson today, contradicting our textbook. He claimed you said our curriculum materials are incorrect. Well, I said carefully, the Great Wall myth is pretty well documented as being false. NASA has, I don't appreciate parents undermining classroom instruction. We use state-approved materials. I understand, but shouldn't we want to teach kids accurate information? There was a long pause. Are you questioning my teaching qualifications? Not at all. I'm just saying this particular fact has been debunked by actual astronauts many times. I'd appreciate if you'd support what we're teaching at home instead of confusing Jake. That evening, Jake came home deflated. Mrs. Henderson said you were wrong and that I shouldn't show off in class anymore. She marked me down for participation. I was furious. I emailed the principal and requested a meeting, bringing printed statements from NASA, the European Space Agency, and multiple astronauts all confirming that the Great Wall isn't visible from space without aid. Principal Martinez listened as Mrs. Henderson insisted her textbook was correct. It's been taught this way for decades, she said. It's a harmless fun fact that gets kids interested in history, but it's not a fact, I replied. It's demonstrably false. And when Jake presented accurate information, he was told he was wrong and lost participation points. I showed them a video of Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield directly addressing this myth from the ISS. Here's someone who's actually been in space explaining why this isn't true. Mrs. Henderson crossed her arms. So you want me to tell my students that their textbook is wrong? I want you to teach them accurate information, I said. And when a student brings up a valid correction, maybe investigate it instead of shutting them down. Principal Martinez looked uncomfortable. What exactly are you asking for here? I want Jake's participation grade restored and I'd like the class to learn the correct information. Use this as a teaching moment about fact-checking and how knowledge evolves. Mrs. Henderson looked like she'd swallowed a lemon. Two days later, Jake bounded into the house. Mom, you won't believe what happened. Mrs. Henderson brought in Mr. Chen from the high school physics department. He showed us real pictures from space. We learned about how myths get started and why it's important to check sources. How did Mrs. Henderson handle it? She said sometimes even textbooks can have old information and that it's okay to ask questions when something doesn't sound right. She gave me my participation points back too. The following month, it came home with a new assignment, research, and debunk a common myth and present the real facts to the class. Mrs. Henderson said you gave her the idea. Jake grinned. She wants to make sure we're all good fact checkers. Sometimes being that parent actually pays off.